Okay guys, welcome back to spvids.com, the number one place on YouTube to learn how to use this box right here. Thank you to everyone that's been subbing over the last month or so. I've had nearly 200 subs. I've had actually 200 subs this uh, last 28 days, so that's just insane to me, guys. Thank you so much for the support. And to everyone else that's already subscribed, thank you so much. There's loads of loyal followers that keep leaving comments underneath so underneath the videos, so thank you so much to everyone that's, that's done anything to help support the channel over the last, uh, well, since it started, really. It's... Uh, it's really cool. Thank you very much, guys. Shout out to those people that have been to the store, spvids.com, and purchased anything from there. It's really cool. All those little bits of money that you're throwing my way, really, really appreciate it. And it's going to be going straight back into the channel anyway. So any purchases made for there, guys, are only going to make the content that you're getting in the future even better. So in today's video, I want to talk about how... Oh, this is a fact that I heard in a few lo-fi songs I was listening to this week and really liked it. Basically what it is, is instead of there being a pause in the song, the pause is filled with a hiss or like a noise or some sort of like feedback. Now, if you didn't catch my previous video, I think it's my previous video, you can go and have a look at that one. It shows you how to sample hiss directly onto one of the pads on the SP. It's really easy to do, but uh, I'll put a link to it in the top corner. So I've got my pad set up here with some hiss on it from the vinyl sim. And I've got some drums and samples loaded in. I've just released an EP. It was a five track lo-fi beats EP. You can check that out on SoundCloud and I've used the drum sounds from my uh, drum pack on spvids.com as well. So if you are interested in getting some lo-fi drums and other bits and bobs, little sounds, vinyl sounds in there and stuff like that, please head over and pick one up. So yeah, these are the drum sounds I used. These are the samples. I've chopped it up. Really nice piano sounds. And I've also got this hiss in here. So I'm going to try and play the actual technique for you, but I've got a lot of stuff around me here. I've got my mic and tripods and that kind of thing. So I'll try and do an example the best I can to see what uh, to show you guys what I'm trying to teach you here. Okay, so that's basically the technique. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. But one of the reasons why I think this is really cool is because when I'm making beats, I'm always trying to think what the listener is thinking when I'm when they're when they're listening to the track. Right? We want to keep the person listening interested in the beat, and we want to make it interesting for them to listen to, even if it's a subconscious thing going on. So I don't want to sound like too sciencey here, guys. But I always try and make my beats every time a loop goes round that something slightly different happens there's little nuances that keep the listener's brain sort of thinking oh that that's that's pretty cool and keeps them interested and to me that makes the beat more enjoyable you you don't want a listener to get exactly what they're expecting you want to hit them with something different so for example if you just had the same loop going round over and over and over again the person listening is going to learn very quickly what that loop is because humans have an ability to learn things very quickly. And if it just keeps going around being the same, 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 it's going to get really boring for them to listen to. And it's going to feel long and tedious. So this technique, I think, is really cool because you can just throw it in there. And I've not heard it loads. I've only heard it on a couple of tracks recently. Just thought it was really cool. So if you combine that with the effects on the SP, which obviously this is what this box is legendary for, and you've got pauses in your beats as well, and then you've got this as well, it's just another technique you can throw in there to make your beats more interesting. So I'll just uh, do a little, another little example for you guys. You can just throw it in at different points as well.
So go and try that one for yourselves in your beats, guys. I think that's a really cool little technique, and you don't have to use the vinyl sim from the SP. You could get some static from like a VHS tape or like a cassette or maybe some vinyl noise, something like that. Just really adds in like a different texture to your beat. And as I was saying before, it makes it a lot more interesting for the listener as well. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for all the subs and likes, as I was saying. If you're not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button for me. It'd help a lot. Please smash that like button as well. It helps me so much. And if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And what I will say with any of my videos, always worth looking in the comments below because there's uh, sometimes I, I don't always get absolutely every point across that I want to. And there's usually some comments underneath that uh, give some really good ideas. So it's always worth having a little dig through the comments below because people come on and leave all sorts of great little bits of uh, advice and stuff like that. So check out the comments below. And even if you want to just say thanks for the vid, it's really appreciated. Apart from that, guys, just check out my EP that I released. I'll put the SoundCloud link in. Check out my drum pack on spviz.com. Take care and keep making beats, guys. I will see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.